new project today. The 82 TXL that's been behind the shop here for a couple years, a friend gave it to me and we finally found time to build it. So I've been digging up a couple of parts. You already saw us dragging it out of the woods. No, they didn't. Oh. <laughs> but they're gonna. They're You're... gonna. That'll be the next thing you see. Yeah. Tommy, what you got here? Well, the next project. We dragged this home back over to Nutter's house about three years ago and it's been sitting in the woods aging. So I think it's time that it gets maybe like a little 500 in it. And, uh, well, what's under the hood right now? I mean, what kind of power? Whoa. Oh, well, yeah. Mouse nest? Not yet. Hmm. Yeah. Let's guess the mouse nest. Maybe squirrels. Yeah, squirrel nuts. Got a lot of good parts on it. So we're going to pull this out of the woods. Someone's going to clean it up, not me. <laughs> the, hood's, the hood's seen better days. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. That's some cracks. Very usable. Cracks. And... Oh, nose cone. This is a nose cone. Yep. Missed out on the nose cone yesterday. Got the racer style. Are you, you gonna sit on it and run the brakes? <laughs> hey, how come it's not steering the way I'm steering here? It'll, don't worry, the skis will turn and follow me. Yeah, yeah the handlebars are in there. Daisy, you be good. Yeah, I'll probably put an indie column in it. Yep. Except for your dogs, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, keep going. Tell them what, what's been going on with it. We cleaned under the hood. It's been at Tommy's house for two, three weeks now. Yep. And uh, he's been assembling various parts. He's got a skid in it. There's a track in it. Found, what's what's the motor plan, Tommy? A 500 inning motor. We have, Sweet. We have several of those sitting around. So I have one that I pulled out of a running sled that will throw in a few modifications. And uh, the suspension was sitting in the shed. Put three wheels on the back, so we got a suspension in it already and a gas tank. And we're changing the steering column to Indy. We're changing the steering column and we're twisting Tommy's arms. <laughs> you know... We're going to change the drive shaft and jack shaft bearings. We can't not change those, especially after what we just found in my Pro X. Right. So the bulkhead has a little bit of damage. I think that's probably why Joe or whoever he got it from retired it. The hood, you know, it's going to be one of our uh, snowed kill sleds. It, yeah. It's, it's yeah. going to be a runner. I'll yeah. probably paint the seat black. I got a can of fabric paint, so I'll get, get it cleaned up a little bit. Black. It'd be really cool if we found one with stripes on it. Good luck with that. Yeah, they're hard to find. So, yeah, it's just a fun little project I think we'll knock out. Hang an oil tank in it so it'll be oil injected. And Yep. Yeah. All right, well, let's get after it. Bring you along. And we got to clean the carbs, too. Clean the carbs. Clean the carbs. Clean the carbs. <sighs> yeah, look at, look at this. Ooh. Oh, she got springy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's nice. A suspension that works. It might be a little light. Yeah, let me, let me, let's, let's put the fat guy on it and give it. <laughs> uh, I can get. Well, your shock's no good. Now all you need, what? now all you need with the red, white, and blue cowboy boots is a hat in your hand. And you're yeah. <laughs> Lightly sprung with no shocks. <laughs> Pizza moment. Thanks, patrons. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Beer and pizza. Beer and pizza. That's what fuels the speed shop. Yup. Darn food. Getting her done. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll be back to this in a moment. <coughs> All right. We're out here. We're going to do some bulkhead bashing. We're going to show you. That is, uh, it's some ugly down there. And there was some ugly back here right at the front of the tunnel. They've already been beaten on that, but there might be more.
That is a display of trust right there. Greg it, and I go back a long ways. That thing didn't... I don't think it moved. It moved. It Go did? Okay. Wherever you say, boss. Swing there the you hammer. Go. Oh, yeah, it really moved. That's moving. Swing in the hammer, boss. Let's go back over here. Swing in the hammer. Good girl, sissy. We looped that, so uh, we're good to go to tip it over. We shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be dumping coolant. All right, ready? Not a lot. <laughs> Perfect. All right. You think your track's loose? Tommy, you're going to really run that track? Yeah, I only have short bolts in. See, that this suspension, I have little short bolts, so i got to get long bolts. i got oh. another suspension. Don't you want a track with well, more next than... Next year, next year. We'll get this project up and running. No, this is fun, trail riding with something like that. I'll throw a bunch of studs in it, a little <laughs> thing like that. If we get any riding this year, it's fun squaring it up in the corner and squirting out. I'm you only go. need one stud. Tommy, Tommy, I'm going to go look in my junk track pile because <laughs> we're going to have it off to change those bearings anyways. All right, let me give him a look up here at this. Uh, yeah, we need the deuce opponent. Up what's up with this bulkhead? Holy cow. Get your hammer. Wow. All right, we need. I got it. Somebody, right. So, uh, yeah, we see we see why we're pounding. All right, we'll bring you back when we're done. You've, you've watched enough pounding for a while. Huh? I didn't have it. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Oh. I thought you did. I thought you. I didn't look, have my ear. Look off. what I found for you, Tommy. Dang. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a little tore up, but it's significantly better than what's on there. Dang. Uh, now we're doing. A, we're only. Yeah, seven bolts away from a track swap. So. Nutter, you're doing it to me again. Yeah. All right. What are we doing, Lon? Ripping the skid out? Ripping a skid out. All right. <laughs> What we do? We, we probably need to give a detailed point by point breakdown. Yeah, they've never seen this before. No. <laughs> yeah, this is all new. You new take, you new take, content. You take out the four bolts and it comes out, folks. Go figure. Yep. <laughs> Pretty amazing how that works. Unbolt, remove. Although they're really into it because the shafts have a tendency to rotate. Oh, well, there can be that. We, be we, that. we showed them how to deal with that in the past, too, though. Honey, show them the chain case bearings. Yeah, yeah. We just get, did this off camera. Yeah, yeah. This oh. is, those are those are good and tight. Oh, good lord, <laughs> Tommy! We didn't save you from yourself. Yourself, we saved us from towing you home. Yeah, yeah. I can make them move, but I got to work at it. That's supposed to be a sealed bearing in this chain case, too. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> there might. Is the other seal in it? Or is it just open? Oh, there is a seal on the seal other on the side. side. Oh, those ones with the red seal, those are usually original to the sled. Holy crap. Which okay. this is a 1982, so... Uh, well, there you go. That's probably why there's no seal on that side. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing we're doing good work here. <laughs> this is the right so. thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> right, it's Tuesday night, and the boys aren't here, and that's a good thing for what I'm doing. I don't like to TIG weld with an audience. So... Tommy's got this great big hole in his bulkhead and you can see I've shined it up already I've chamfered it and I made this little plug that uh, doesn't quite fall through the hole so my plan is to tap that in and then TIG weld it in place and if it falls all the way through well it's pretty much open under there I ought to be able to fish it out of that channel there's a bunch of holes for accessing the bottom of those bolts so uh, let me see if I can knock that thing into place successfully so far, so good. A few tap taps with the hammer and I drove it in place and it's basically flush. Flush enough for what we're doing. So I'm going to drag the TIG welder over and we'll have at that. I'm smiling that came out just fine I laid into it with a ton of heat 
I had the TIG set up to 205 amps and I damn near had it flat footed. Uh, she was drooping away and I was filling fast and uh, well, let's just say there's plenty of penetration on that one. So uh, more than good enough for the repair we needed to do today. Daisy's helping Tommy change the shock on the skid. Look at her. Daisy, show Tommy what nut that should be on. Maybe you need a hammer. Might, maybe two people. Maybe a person and a dog isn't enough. Maybe two people. When my hands are my dog. <laughs> Tommy's super amused by the dog helping. <laughs> there we go. It's all polished. All right, I put the track in. This track is nice and light. What is that? It's a. Polaris lightning bolt track. It looks like an old one, though. Yeah, it's old, but it's better than what Tommy had. Yeah. Put those out of dog reach. All right, how do we do this again? Uh, your end, your end's got to go in first. Get your end up in there, and then. All right. And then we get it in the chain case. Let me turn off the camera, I'll get you a guide bolt. <laughs> well, it's a hammer by four. No, it's it's going. Four. Now we got it in the lugs. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It did. Dennis, you just got to get after it. Here, everything's good. The track's centered. I try not to it's get all, after it too hard. It's all happy. Did they ever show you how you get one of these out of a stuck flange? It works every time. Here we go. All right, update. Dennis has got the front drive shaft in. Brad's putting in the skid. Tommy, show them the solution we came up with. So all the rubber mounts Tommy had are half inch thick for Centurion straps. This plate's a quarter, so I made a bunch of quarter inch spacers for it. And uh, that'll make the mounts work just fine. Yep. That's what we have to do. You have to do what you have to do when you're working with old junk. Digging through the parts. Old men work with old junk. Old men, old junk. Except for you, Dennis. Oh, you're, yeah. You're old men cleaning old junk. I'm trying a new chemical. What's, what's, the, what's the chemical? I can't tell you until I know that it works. Okay. Top secret cleaning and, fluid. And it's mostly frozen, so if this is the only section I got done. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I already told All right, so Tommy's got this thing all fixed up, and uh, she's a beaut there, Clark. So it uh, looks good. So just so you know, here's a set of Centurion straps, which is what all those parts came off of. And you can see they're a full half inch thick, and uh, that plate is a quarter inch thick. But don't worry, it ought to be plenty, right? Yeah. I don't know. Stiffen it up a little. It'll be fine. All right, patrons, thanks for the pizza. We really appreciate it. We got a pretty full house today. We're missing Lonnie, but we got uh, Brad, who is lifting heavy objects. Tommy, is this the last time it's going in? The first of the last times, yeah. First of the last times. We, of course, we got Dennis, and we got just Greg here today. Just Greg. Just Greg. Mm -hmm. Just Greg. Dude, that looks good on my hole. Okay, well, I gotta get this back one on first. I know, so I I'll hold get... it there again while you get your nut on. Yeah. That's yeah. what she said. Twice. You're gonna put two washers on this time? Yes, sir. I'm going for the other washer Take right now up. for the little space that we need. All right. Well, these guys will get this together. I'm gonna go guard the pizza from the puppies. Be sure if it was still on there or not. All right. I, I, I'm too late, but. Brad just reached around and put this bolt in, like, on the first try, yeah. on an early indie. Second try. Second try. Yeah, okay, I'll move he said it wouldn't and work and after the first try. He's going to try on the other bolt. All right, here we go. There. I'll supervise. We'll, we'll see how this works. We may, we may be oh. renting out Brad for people with early indies if this works as yeah, good as I think. Because these awesome. bolts, oh, they there's there's stink. No, we're missing the hole. Yeah. That's what she said. It's been a... Oh, I saw it go past. All right, we're on the third person. You guys missed Greg's attempt. Here goes Tommy. So apparently you only get lucky once, as I just said. It was the hard one, too. 
<laughs> no, the middle one's the hard one. That's what she said. I gotta get my glasses nah. on so I can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah. I can't see anything. I'm I'm filming by braille. Unless a miracle happens, I'll have to edit this down. <laughs> Edited for brevity. I see something. Let me get my flashlight, maybe. Hang on, hang on. That don't do no good when you can't see down. Yeah, but you can see if you're getting close. Dennis, did you throw a tennis ball in the in the shop? I did. Oh. Well, she put it, look. <laughs> What's supposed to do? Uh, I usually hide it from them, but, you know, you, you be you over there, Dennis. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in the garbage can to tell you the truth. Now she'll just take it back out. Why did they just put studs in? Here, give me the ball, Farley. I'll take it. All right. We call this ball jail. Tennis ball jail. You can see there's already one in there. Let's see where it'll hang out. There we go. Tennis ball jail. Oh, 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 oh. oh geez. Hold your cards. We got a bingo. Oh, oh see? I didn't even oh, have the camera 69. on. I was way where's, too where's, busy. Oh, 69. Well, where's the bottom? I'm not letting go. I'm not losing this. <laughs> I was way too busy doing tennis ball jail, and here we go. There's oh, no two ways about it. Hmm? These it's motor mount bolts enough. on the early indies, my they hard. suck. Is that the... There's no good way. If you got a great oh. way, leave it in the comments, oh. but there we, go. we haven't found it yet. Right Tommy's been cleaning this pipe out for like five minutes. It left a big mess on my floor. Look at all. I mean, some of that's just leaves, but there's a big pile of rust and mouse turd in there, too. You have no bag pressure now. Yeah, that's definitely affecting your power by taking that out. <laughs> Probably in a positive way. I but would think. Tommy, you're going to have to light a campfire and throw it in there. <laughs> yeah, I could have a fire in a pit at home. That's the best way. Yep what happens when you have stuff laying outside when when i dragged it here to nutters two years ago anyway oh the sled was mint it was like brand new yeah no it sat behind, <laughs> it sat behind joe's house for i don't know how many years so to just to the wild hair to just make a early indie put together so this was under the hood when i got it so that's uh possibly been mouse infested for decades that's getting better all right <laughs> Hey, Campfire will get the rest. Now we can clean it up. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap up part one of Tommy's low buck early indie there. Low buck? Pins no buck. No buck. No buck. Track off People the scrap pile. Finish it. Motor that was on the shelf. Literally not even crank seals. Come on, Tommy. Yeah. I'm feeling really bad about not doing crank seals he on put, it. He put new, two new bolts in there. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. Um, oh, I gave him new four bolts. new bolts for the motor mounts, too. Oh, he's got new parts. Oh, yeah, man. one new and bearing. One new bearing. And no, the, three new bearings, two in the chain case, and then the, the one on the clutch side of the drive shaft. Three new bearings. And I'm there, there, might, small buck. there might be a whole different seat. We might not have the painted one on there. We may have a line on another seat, so we'll see. It'll still be a low buck project. Yeah. It's super low buck. And this isn't the first low buck project we've done. We've done quite a few. Uh, take a look at Lonnie's Colt and Lonnie's TX that we put the Indy 500 motor in it. And uh, my cross country Indy, I didn't exactly break the bank on that thing. You know, so uh, we like doing low buck sled projects. Do a little exhaust pipe modification, whatever, you know, whatever we can do here. Oh, yeah. Stuff. I'll exhaust. show. I'll, I'll show the. I'll show the power mod to make the 340 exhaust work right with the 500. That'll be in part two, though. Yep. So, uh, with that said, huge thanks to the patrons. Uh, really appreciate you guys. Appreciate the pizza. Appreciate the beer. Um, if you're wondering, you can see their names up here on the screen. They're our big supporters, and they uh, give us a little monthly donation. And uh, in return, they get to watch all the videos early and ad free on the patron app. And uh, I don't know, we just really appreciate you guys. 
Yeah, also they get those little clips like you filmed a while ago with our random <laughs> <Ms. Ramblings. laughs> or, Yeah, they do. They random get a lot ramblings. of ramblings. ramblings is a good way to Patron put it. Patron only ex, uh, extras. They get a lot of those. <laughs> uh, they got a couple from Paul Groth. They get a lot from us here in the shop. So, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty cool deal if you want to check it out. But you have to join to check it out. The free membership doesn't work. I know Patron says there's such a thing, but you get nothing for that. Nothing's free in this world. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks to everybody else. If you watch this long, you must like the video, so please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the trails before this winter's out. Let's see you on the trails. Let's go ride some wheelies. Well...